What's going on everybody? Brian here, and I've got a game of Modern Warfare 3 for you. This is Domination on Dome. I'm rocking out the AK-47 with a red dot sight. I think that was Sleight of Hand Pro, Hardline Pro, Marksman Pro, and I think I have the kick proficiency on the AK. The AK-47, I've been using it a lot more often, along with my uh, Gold G36. I really just wanted to try to get two gold guns to take with me if I did decide to prestige. So I do have one prestige token left, and of course once I prestige I'll have another one. So I'm thinking I probably would take those two guns with me when I do decide to do it. Uh, I'm going to be still working on the SCAR as well. I haven't put as much time into that recently to make my final decision, but I'm really enjoying the AK. And over the course of this game I take what I think are some really bullshit deaths where I get several bull, uh, bullets on target on my opponent first only to have him turn on me or my bullets don't register and I end up dying so the final score isn't great I think I ended up with like a 2 KD somewhere in that ballpark but like I said I really don't care about my KD I like to try to win first but unfortunately I'm going to play spoiler here we didn't win this game it was awful close we were going for the triple cap at the very end to try to pull it out but we didn't quite get it you know Doom is such a small map you know, spawns flip so quickly here, and unless you have some really, really good teammates with you, which I only had, I think, what, one person here with me? Maybe two? And a bunch of randoms. So we weren't able to coordinate very well as a team and, you know, pull off that triple cap and defend the flags like we should have. But, like I so said, we did everything we could. You know, I played the objective as much as possible, and I still managed to get a decent amount of kill streaks going. So that's pretty much all you should, you should need to know about the gameplay. But what I want to talk to you guys about is my vacation started today. Well, actually, my time off of work started today, but my vacation starts uh, tomorrow morning, I think around 7 or 7 a.m. I think it was when my flight leaves. My wife and I are going to Disney World with my father and my stepmother. Stepmother? Yeah, stepmother. I always get stepmother and mother-in-law confused sometimes. I don't know why. My wife's mother is my mother-in-law and my dad's wife is my stepmother <laughs> so they're taking us down to disney world again i've been there several times in, in over the course of my life i think seven times i think but i've never been there around the holiday to see it all decorated out for christmas i remember watching a special on i think it was hgtv a few years back and where they showed the process to do all the christmas decorations and they give you a pretty good taste of what it looks like and, I mean, it looks really beautiful. I've always wanted to see it around the holiday. So my dad decided he would take my wife and I down there. They are vacation club members, which is basically like a timeshare with Disney. So they go down there at least once a year, a lot of times twice a year. And like I said, they've taken us down a couple times previously. I think like I said, I've been there seven times in all. I was there once when I was a kid with my mother and father. Uh, my father took my wife and I down one time before. Uh, and the took the whole family down as well uh, my sister and her husband and uh, her daughter as well and I, did, I was there another time with my sister when she was younger when I was uh, I think 22 so that was back when Pleasure Island was still open so I actually took a friend of my best friend Mike with me I know I mentioned him in several of my videos before uh, he and I have been friends since high school so he went down there with us so I had someone to hang out with at night and check out Pleasure Island with all the bars and clubs and let's see, what's that? One, that's like four or five times. Uh, and I was there as well. Uh, I think, but did my wife go down there twice with us? I think, I think we, my dad took my wife and I down there twice before. And I was also there once for a company business trip, a little convention they had a few years back. It was really cool. They actually rented out MGM Studios for us one night and they reopened the park after it closed and reopened several rides and had stands and carts set up for, you know, with drinks for us. So everything was free, everything, everything we could eat and drink, and like I so said, they opened up the Tower of Terror, the Aerosmith ride, I think a Star Wars ride, and a few other rides for us. Like I said, really, really cool time, I'm hanging out with all my co-workers, drinking like fish, and getting to go on some of the rides without any lines of any type, so that was really cool. So like I said, I think I was there a total of six or seven times before, and like I said, I'm really, really looking forward to this trip starting tomorrow morning, late tonight, whatever you want to call it. So I had the brilliant idea, since uh, we have to get up so early, to drive to my father's house because it's an hour away, because they're going to drive to the airport. And from their house, it's about an hour ride to the airport. 
and then you figure you gotta get there an hour to an hour and a half before because we're flying out of Atlantic City. So it's a really small airport, so you normally move through everything pretty quickly. But with all that in mind, so you got about three and a half hours. So that means we have to leave our house by about 4.30 in the morning. Is that right? 4.30 to 7? 5, 6, 7? No, uh, we have to leave here by 3.30 in the morning to get to my dad's house around 4, the 5.30. Yep. Yes, yeah, that's around 3.30 in the morning. So we're going to get up around 2 a.m. So we got a lot of packing to do. My wife actually just started laundry right now. And she went around to the store to pick up a couple other things we might need. So we got to leave the house at 3.30, which means we're getting up at 2 a.m. So I had the brilliant idea, uh, you know, since we're both off from work today, obviously, to get ready for the trip, to get up at 6 a.m., just like I normally do for work every day, to try and make sure that we're, you know, as tired as possible early in the evening so we can try to go to bed earlier. I said to get up at that <laughs> ungodly hour of 2 a.m. for to get ready to head out for our trip. So, like I said, I'm looking forward to you know, seeing everything a little bit decorated for Christmas. I'm going to be picking up a five-day thing park hopper pass because we're going to be there Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And our flight leaves mid-morning on Saturday to come home. So we won't be back too late, which is kind of nice. I never really like getting in from a vacation around midnight or 1 a.m. Because, like I said, then we got to see our dogs. I'm sure he's going to miss the hell out of us while we're gone and get settled back in. And like so, you know, it's kind of nice to get home a little bit earlier. But we're gonna hit uh, Magic Kingdom, which uh, they do a really cool light show display. I think on the uh, Princess Tower, and they do a, a Christmas parade as well. Uh, we're gonna, of course gonna hit Epcot. They do another light show, fireworks, laser lights, everything else every single night at their park. Uh, of course, we're gonna hit MGM Studios as well, and the Animal Kingdom. And I figured rather than go with a four-day park hopper pass. Uh, which is pretty common since we're going to be at the parks four days. I figure for, I think it's like $25 a person more for the extra day. Just to build in a cushion in case the weather turns over the course of a day and we miss something. Uh, we have the opportunity to go back to wherever park we want on an extra day. And we're going to have basically uh, Sunday and I think one other day is going to just be a free roam day. So we'll have time to do you know, the marketplace. You know, and I, I really want to check out all the different resorts, lobbies. Because some of them do some really cool stuff inside the lobbies. I think the Grand Floridian, I think it is, does like a life-size actual gingerbread house with a store inside of it. So there really are a lot of additional things to see in addition just to going to the parks. I guess because like I said, you know, all the resorts decorate and like I said, there's just so much to see and do there. And I think Epcot Center as well, when they have that uh, World Marketplace or World Showcase, I think it's called. Uh, each each country, they, they tell you the history of Christmas in that country. So we're definitely going to check that out as well. I'm not sure how long that's going to take. I think they run it on a set schedule. So we have pretty much most of the days pretty well planned out when we're going to be in the parks. Like I said, hopefully weather permitting. Like I said, that's kind of why I wanted to build in that extra day. Just in case, you know, the weather turns on, something weird happens, and we you know, have to go back and see something that we missed. So I, I did uh, mention before I bought that Sony bloggy and I'm going to be taking that down and documenting as much of the trip as I possibly can. Uh, you know, do a little live vlogs as I go through the parks and record, you know, the light show displays, you know, parades and everything else. Ideally, I'd like to have time to upload a video for you each day I'm down there. But as like I said, depending upon how long it takes me to render them out and get them uploaded, I'm not really going to uh, take much time away from my evenings with the family and doing other things to upload a video every day. So I mean, if I can do it quickly, I'm going to upload a video for you each day. Uh, if not, you know, if it doesn't work out and, the, and time doesn't permit, what I'll do is I'll just put them together uh, and upload them when I get back, whether it be over the course of one video, two videos, the three-part, or however many it takes. And the other thing I was thinking about doing too is uh, tweeting out pictures uh, throughout the course of my trip. You know, just a little cool things I see along the way. So if you don't do so already, follow me on Twitter and be on the lookout for some tweets of mine uh, over the course of my trip. Like I said, I hope I can get some good pictures and some decorations and some other cool things I see while I'm down there. And like I said, I'll tweet them out over the course of the day while we're walking, waiting in line. So I'm sure there's going to be lots of lines because I think the place is going to be pretty crowded this time of year. I said, you wouldn't quite think so, but I think a lot of people probably pull their kids out of school. Uh, you know, because Disney obviously is a kid-friendly place without, without question. It is the happiest place on earth, as I always say. So, like I said, I'm going to try to do that as well. 
And like I said, just hopefully, you know, keep in touch with you guys as much as I can during the trip without taking time away from actually enjoying the trip with my wife and my father and my stepmother. So, like I said, this video is a little bit longer than I ideally would have liked just to talk about my, what my vacation plans are. Like I said, I think we got, what, another minute and a half to go, give or take. And I'm running out of things to talk about without being repetitive. God, I hate when that happens. But that's, the, that's what happens sometimes when you play a lot of domination games and that's the only ones you got to work with for a commentary. So, <laughs> but uh, since I do have a couple minutes left, I just want to ask you guys, um, with the new YouTube layout, I noticed that my Skyrim videos that I did, I didn't get as many views as my normal videos do. So is that because they weren't showing up in your sub box? Or is that because you just weren't interested in seeing Skyrim videos? Like I said, I figured, you know, the people that have it may be interested in seeing some cool things. Because I know everyone can take a different path throughout the course of the game. So even if you do see me do a quest or see parts of the game that I may be playing, your experience may be different. So like I said, just let me know how the new sub boxes are working. Because obviously I'm uploading this video for you today. And I'm also uploading part one of my Christmas decorations video. Like I said, I don't know if you're going to see this first. If one of them is going to show up in your sub box and the other one doesn't. So be on the lookout for that video as well. I figure what I'll do is I'll just put links to each other's video in the description to make sure you guys don't miss either one of them if you are interested in seeing my Christmas decorations here at my house. It's a long process. I only have part one finished for you so far. I said part two I'll finish up after we get back from our trip and the decorations are finalized. So as always, I hope you really did enjoy the video. I will talk to all you soon. I hope you have a good one.